Woman Improvised Show! Oh, it's Vegas, baby, it's Vegas. It's Las Vegas, I've been here. Yes, it's Vegas, it's Las Vegas. And we're gonna bring you so many laughs and good cheer. Yes, everything that you see is improvised on the spot right before your eyes. So get ready for a fabulous time because it's me, Trudy, and we're gonna have a Las Vegas time. fabulous, beautiful baby, Jordan Clark on the keys! Oh, yes, indeed. Oh my God, thank you all so much for being here today and, and just spending your afternoon with me. Um, it, is, it is fabulous. It's going to be a fabulous time. And as you know, each and every one of you is my number one fan, right? Yes, yes you are, of course. You've been dying to see me for years. Each one of you represents 1,000 people, so this is a stadium filled with people making so much noise and laughter throughout the show. No matter what I say, you're gonna love it all. And, as you all know, I am a bit of a diva, right? I mean, I'm okay, I claim it, I, I own that, that I'm a diva. But, I am a different kind of diva because I don't just sing about myself and sing about the things that I like and want to hear about. No, I sing about the things that you like, that you want to hear about, even if there are, you know, some song styles, genres that you enjoy. I sing about it all. And I also get suggestions from each one of you, which is what we're going to do today. Everybody ready to do a little, a little suggestion giving? Yes, 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 yes. This is a practice. Just, you know, shout out your name. Just shout out your name to me. Amy. Hey. People had to think about it. There was a little bit of a delay. I don't know if it's because you're on Wi-Fi and I'm on the regular cellular program. I don't know. But yes, fabulous. Okay, so let's try that one more time. Tell me if you have a name of a pet or a other family member or child. Just yell out the names. One, two, three, go! Okay, fabulous. I didn't hear any of it. But I'm glad we just get, you know, get the let out, let you, you know, practice shouting things at me, is what that was for. That was an exercise in shouting things at Trudy. So fabulous. Okay. So now we're going to put our little thinking caps on, and I want you to now think about what kind of song style is your favorite song style or genre? Anyone? Ready? One, two, three, shout it out. Hey, oh, oh, I heard Sondheim. Okay, I love a little. Right, you are, did I make that up? It was just a cacophony of noise that came together. And I just hear the name Sondheim. I did hear Sondheim. I think I heard funk. Somebody claim it. No, sure. No one wants to take ownership of that. Okay. And um, one more, one more that you said before and I did not hear. Heavy metal. Oh God. <laughs> I mean, we can take that into consideration. <laughs> it is under advisement. Fabulous. Okay, I mean, you know, cabarets from time to time do go to... Never. They don't get to it. But, but we will take that under advisement. I'm happy. Look, I can do anything, okay? Jordan knows. Jordan, you all know I can do anything. Fabulous. So, um, and are there any female, preferably, vocalists that you enjoy? Macy Gray. Oh my god, that is a blast from the past. Holy cow. What's that? What are you saying? What am I saying about my age that I know who you're talking about? I mean I know I fully know who that is. I shut every time and I go try to lock away and I stumble. But right, is that pretty good? That's not bad, right? Yes. So Macy Gray, anyone else who's a little less throaty? 
Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Oh, little Tay Swift. Okay, fabulous. Wonderful. Okay, so we've got some fabulous genres. Sondheim, heavy metal. <laughs> Funk, Macy Gray, Tay Swift. And now, this is the trickier part because I like to get a suggestion of a, something that we can turn into a title of a show or a title of a song to get things started, to kick off the show. And so if there's anything that's been on your mind or something that you even overheard in the street today or this week, feel free to just yell it out. The <laughs> and I was going to say anything but the bins because I've had that for the past week. I've had suggestions, uh, litter, garbage from an American and the bins. You're from the UK, I assume? Yes, yes. Okay, so the bins, is there anything else just to keep it fresh for me, <laughs> literally and metaphorically? There are too many shows on the first one. Oh, amen, sister friend. It really, really only need my show. This is really the only one they need. Thank you. Thank you. Too many shows on the fringe. I mean, those are some shots fired at the fringe. But, okay, too many shows at the fringe. By the way, Linda, my beautiful baby Linda in the back doing lights for us today. I forgot to ask, are we recording this show? Okay, fabulous, good. I, I mean, it's gonna be a gem already, so I wanted to make sure the camera's rolling. So too many shows on at the fringe. Festival this year. This is my very first time at, at the Edinburgh Festival Fringe, by the way. Oh, hey. BW, yes. yes, I came with a dream and a lot of sequin dresses to the city of Edinburgh to try my luck to get the thousands of people that I have to come to see me. And it has been a challenge because I'm just one, one woman. I'm just a one, one woman show with you know, with a song in my heart and a dream. I'm trying to reach all the audiences I can, but everywhere I turn, there's so 
somebody else who has a show at the same exact time as I. So many conflicts that stand in the way of my dreams to be seen. Oh, if only I had a huge production team. Are there any producers in the audience today? <laughs> any big time producers who are looking for a tiny little show to grow and grow and grow and turn into a huge main stage production? I am talking about me. I would be perfectly in an actual, a real actual stadium. I didn't spend five thousand pounds on one of those enormous posters that you see in the, you know, those billboards. I didn't. I mean, I. It's not like I don't have the money. <laughs> Actually, I, I don't have the money for that. So we have to be enterprising. You know, TikTok is here. TikTok. Yeah. Exactly. Right. They made this huge promise to us that TikTok was going to be. The guiding light that would get a scene that would make us Edinburgh famous for those of us who don't have an enormous production team to get the word out about ourselves. I don't like, I don't like it. I don't like TikTok. I'm very protective of my image and I admire people who can actually get out there and, you know, just wake up in the morning and, you know, I'm stepping on beads of my gown. Um, you know, who can wake up in the morning and say, Hi, TikTok, I'm, I'm eating a scone. And, you know, I, I, um, I woke up like this with a, with a beautiful filter on my face. And this is my life. This is a day in my life. I woke up perfectly in every way. And I'm interesting enough to hold this audience, to hang on every single inane word I have to say, yo, oh, and I'm just in awe of these people who are so confident that the little inane stories they have to share are going to make it out there in the land. TikTok, 100 million followers. How do they do it? How do they get so many followers? I haven't tried, but I don't think I want to. Because I, I don't know, am I too old for that kind of thing? Thank you. Thank you, Jordan. Especially very convincing from you. Good. No. I mean, I could do it. I can be cool like those TikTok kids. Oh, I, I know I should do it. Otherwise, the whole entire world, the whole entire universe won't know about Trudy. I'll be the world's best kept secret. And I need to get the word out. I need to get the word out about me. I could probably just do Macy Gray impressions on TikTok. Maybe that would entice people, although they would be of a certain age. <laughs> probably. Do the kids know who Macy Gray is? Do they know who she is? She sounds like an old lady when I do that voice. I don't know. Oh, I'm not sure. I try to 
be on the cusp of modern technology, but I really haven't heard from Macy Gray in about 25 years, so I hope she is okay. I mean, is she still alive? Do we? You don't know. We don't know. She fell off into obscurity because she didn't do TikTok. If she had done TikTok, she would still be alive today. Oh, I gotta get on TikTok if it kills me. I really should stop resisting. I've always said to myself, oh, I'm going to be, you know, I want to keep up with the times. I don't want to be like my grandparents who didn't want to know what a computer was. You know, did you have anyone in your life who were like resisted technology completely? Yes, and it's frustrating, right? What did they, who, who was it in your life who was just, her right here? Oh, her father. Yes, does he not like technology or computers or anything? Can't you touch screens? I mean, <laughs> he uses a key, like a house key? A car key, of course a car key, because that's the key to the internet. So, oh my God, he uses a car key. Uh, why? <laughs> why does he use, why does he use a car key? Does he, did he ever tell you why he does that? Oh, does the car key work on a touch screen? No. <laughs> so he's just scratching up your iPads, every single thing. For your iPad, you're like, here you go, scratch away. Get a screen protector on there because, you know, wow. Yeah, so, um, okay, well then, and is there no discouraging him? He just is like, no, I'm, this is the way. He, father knows best, father knows best. Yes, I mean, I, at least he knows what an iPad is because my grandparents didn't want to know. They, that's the thing, they just wanted to pretend that computers didn't even exist. Right. <laughs> yes, it was like a soap opera. They just refused. I don't understand the refusal to accept, you know, something new in your life, to accept that there are different developments around us it's, it may be a little more difficult for us to catch on, but it's there, like climate change. <laughs> you know, you just can't, you can't refuse its existence. So, I would be lost without wanting to know what else is out there in the universe even if I don't understand it at all I'm at least going to give it my all I mean without the internet how could we be present with each other through a pandemic I said it was, was everybody doing Zoom during the pandemic in this room? I mean, it was better than nothing. At least it was something. When we had Zoom, I ended up doing virtual shows. I actually did shows virtually. It was so completely bizarre just singing into the unknown into a screen that couldn't be controlled by a car key oh i had to do something i had to do something couldn't sit there doing nothing otherwise i would have lost my mind i mean even if i was looking into a digital mirror at least I 
was performing to myself. That was fine. It really saved my life, technology. Doing a show for virtually nobody. But at least I got practice on my craft. And every once in a while, someone would tune in and ask, Hey, Trudy, will you sing a song for me? So it beats being at home, literally in the dark, just staring at the wall and wanting to kill yourself because I need connection whether I And so, I really did shows for the fringe, for many different fringes around the world. On the computer throughout 2020 and 2021. And even, I, even though I didn't make any money, it didn't matter because I didn't have to spend money on publicity <laughs> or travel expenses. So I traveled and I performed around the world. Virtually over the you did. Did you perform anything? Uh, no. <laughs> no, I couldn't bring myself to. I did watch uh, some shows. Fabulous. So you were watching my shows most likely. Obviously, Obviously my shows. Yeah, no, yeah, my number one fan. Nice one. Exactly. Yes. yes, virtually and in real life, my number one fan. IRL. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Tiffany. I appreciate you. Your name is <laughs> Tiffany now. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. That is my... Okay, she... she everybody else? Tiffany's my number one fan! Truly! Number one fan in the room! Because she watched me over Zoom. Yes, it was so... It did It did get lonely. Jordan, did you get lonely over the... Yes. Did you play anything virtually for people? Yes. I mean, it was strange, right? It was bizarre, but you know, again, you had to do something because... For me, performing is like, you know, I'm like a little shark. If I stop swimming, I'll just drown. You know how they, did you know this? If sharks stop swimming, they will drown. And so that's why, you know, the uh, Wildlife Foundation says, don't cut off sharks' fins because if you cut the fins off, they can't swim and they'll drown. So my metaphor is that I'm like a shark who, if you cut my fin off performing, I will drown. I will die away. So we did what we had to. and. It, what I enjoyed most about it was that there was such little pressure to perform and to make any kind of money. Um, <laughs> unlike right now, what, where I am right now. <laughs> I am so thrilled to be here. I mean, I was supposed to come here in 2020. And we all know why that didn't happen. I didn't feel like it. No, just kidding. I No, because, you know, we had the pandemic times that just shut it all down. And now that I'm here, I've only had a couple of breakdowns, but mostly out of gratitude for being here. No matter how much, you know, time or money I lose, if you can imagine, um, it's all worth it. I only have, my God, I only have like three and a half shows. This is, we're like halfway through my fourth show and I'm getting sad. <gasps> Feel like little Taylor Swift. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking at you, you were looking at me. I wanted to be there in reality. My heart was broken when I couldn't 
go to Edinburgh in 2020. But now I'm here. I finally made it here. I'm finally standing in the room that I booked over a year ago. Finally singing to all of my number one fans at my show. I made it here. Finally made it here. I made it here. It's been almost three years. phone stand and cord more than you know but I still will miss it when it's gone and I have to leave and go home back to the States oh, but you know the lovely thing is even though there are like 50,000 shows in the in the fringe I haven't experienced any kind of you know competition like like cutthroat competition like in you know in New York City and when you go to the equity auditions or something like that um, that's the union for, for us American babies. Um, where people, you know, they just want to cut your eyes out. But, um, no, here, all the fabulous performers, there's a nice camaraderie that has happened. Because we've all been through the, the muck and the grit. And I think everybody is really, for the most part, you know, we all have our own little collective disappointments and we're all getting dirty from all the trash flowing out of the bins. But, it's really still, I think we've risen above that trash, that metaphorical trash, and we have come together, you know, for the most part in a very nice way, trying to support each other as best we can, um, and trying to come to each other's shows. How many other performers are in this audience right now, by the way? Ooh, all right, fabulous. Oh, only three today, okay. That's good to know, because usually I have a lot more performers and, and like two paying customers, so thank you so much. Give yourselves a round of applause. Yes. And while we're at it, why don't you plug your show? Because I'm ve I said I'm very generous, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, beep. Stand up. Beep. Stand up? Beep. Yeah, sorry. Uh, so I'm doing stand up tonight. What time? Uh, 10.15. Oh, okay. Fabulous. Where? Uh, here, actually. Oh. oh, okay. Fabulous. Wonderful, so now you have your 1015 plan. You're welcome. I told you I'm a general Steve. I let people plug their shows in my own show. That's how giving I am. Everybody knows that Trudy is like the Mother Teresa of Edinburgh Festival Fringe. Oh, she just gives and gives and gives and gives and gives. Oh, you can't stop her. She has such an open, bleeding heart to everyone. She gives her heart and her soul and also air time at her own show to let everybody 
everybody know that she's not the only one performing in the festival. Oh, don't you just think she deserves a saint order of some kind? What an angel, Saint Trudy, how divine. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I just, you know, you've got to give people something. You've got, you can't just be all out for yourself. No matter how many times I want that to be the case. I mean, I have really self-promoted myself an awful lot to people on Twitter. But where has it gotten me? With like 10 people in the audience. <laughs> Thank you. Yes! I mean 10,000! I mean 10,000! Thank you! You know, it's just, it's rough out there. It's hard out there for us little pimps. <laughs> Pimping ourselves, you know, you just gotta sell, you just gotta sell, but also, you gotta buy, buy yourself back. <laughs> That's my new, my new motto. <laughs> Meaning, what that means is that you have to invest in yourself and you have to forgive yourself when you just are too exhausted to fly her any longer. Yes. <laughs> right, yes. amen, sister friends? It's tiring and it's lonely, especially when you're by yourself. And I've had more people this week just say no. <laughs> just actually, I'm saying, hi, this is a five-star rated show, no. Uh, hi, five-star rated, no. Hi, no, just no, this ain't no, can you believe to Trudy? Who would say no to Trudy? Not you. No. <laughs> this is Macy Gregan. <laughs> Heavy metals, good job. Fabulous. Okay, good. All right, wonderful. Me! I'm doing a little like guitar solo right now. Me! Log out there. All the babies want a piece of. I don't know what they want. It's not me. So many people passing by are saying, No, 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 no. This, I hope you appreciate this. Are you even watching right now what I'm doing for you? This was your suggestion, am I right? I hope you appreciate this. If I lose my voice tomorrow, I'm coming for you. I'm talking to you tonight at the show, and I'm going to complain. Oh, everybody wants to see the bigger shows than Trudy, apparently. They're booking the same time as my time. And I think that is a crime. I'm singing in a cold August rain. That's, that's a Gun, Guns N' Roses reference. Oh, Instead of cold November rain. Ah, it's a cold August rain of Edinburgh. Ah, thank you. Thank you. And you're welcome. That was specifically for you, Aaron. Your name is Aaron now. That was specifically for you. I don't do, I don't shred my, my guitar and my voice for just anybody. So that really was. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, well, now I, I, see, it was worth it because you did really appreciate it. So, okay. This is why I do what I do for the appreciation and adoration of people. But it is, it, it's all been a good learning experience for me, you know, coming here, performing. I've, this is like my 75th show, no, I'm, that's an, a gross exaggeration. This is my um, fifth, 16th show? I think my 16th show that I've done because I actually did lose my voice for two days and had to cancel two shows. Um, I'm just so good that I, I go until I lose, my, lose it all. But then I thankfully recovered, but it's been a nice practice and, and, you know, just see what it's like to get up here every single day and give you my heart and my soul 
and my heavy metal voice. <clears throat> and it does hurt when people tell you no, but it feels so good when people tell you yes. And thankfully I've received more yeses than noes. So thank you for saying yes. Thank you for being the best. Those other people can go. Those naysayers, oh. I just want to say thank you to the people who say yes to me. Oh, it's not easy being as fabulous. And it's sometimes I can feel like a hot mess when I'm not hearing yes. When I'm not hearing yes and I'm getting people saying no, no. So thank you for being a friend. Thank you for saying yes. Thank you for saying yes to me. I wouldn't want to be. Although I appreciate the test to actually still hold my head high when people just say no and walk by. It's definitely humbling. You should all give it a try sometimes. If you're all feeling really confident in yourself, just go and say, do you want to see me doing this thing? And see what they say. They may say no and that's okay. For saying yes, thank you for still being a friend. All of you are really the very best. So thank you for saying, thank you for saying, thank you so much for saying. It just, um, when you have so many options out there, I understand, I know, I know you've got so much to choose from and you have to prioritize who you're going to see, where you're going to go, who you're going to be with, what you're going to be when you grow up, you know, if you're going to pay your taxes or not, all these things that we have to decide in life. And so, you know, when there's so many options, it can be very overwhelming and it's been completely overwhelming to me at times here as well. And um, you know, I've had to say, I've had to say no to people too. And they completely understand because they know that just the fact that I'd even say anything to them at all is an honor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's me pretending to be the most confident baby in the room. But, you know, I'm not all the time. I do have little cracks in my, in my facade. Not cracks on my face. I'm not a literal facade. No, I'm, I look fabulous, right? Yes! Yes! Thank you! <laughs> How's my hair, by the way? Because um, I did a deep conditioner today. Um, I have had the most horrific hair the whole entire time that I've been here. This is just an aside um, that I have to share. My hair has been absolutely out of control. Linda can probably attest to this. Linda? I was actually going to say it's really pretty today. <laughs> oh my god, Linda, thank you. It is really pretty today because you've seen how bad it has been. <laughs> From the, the first performance, this whole time, it's just been, I couldn't do anything with it. So I finally ran out and got some to, to the super drug and I got some deep conditioner. And I put about 5,000 things in my hair. Because if anybody is like me, the, the moisture in the air of Edinburgh, the humidity, it's not my friend. It is my, the bane of my existence. And I've been walking around just, and, and people see my, my flyer when I hand it to them and they, so many of them say, that looks nothing like it. 
doesn't really look like you, do you it? And I'm like, thank you so much for that commentary, for that feedback. I will take it into account. And I do say, it's my hair. And they're like, no, it's not that. I'm like, well, maybe it's a little airbrushed. Maybe a little airbrushing. Give me a break. But really, I think it's, I'm blaming it on the hair. I'm blaming it on the, you know what I mean, Lauren? You have to have a little airbrushing in your poster because, sorry, I wasn't born flawless like Tay Swift. <laughs> so, that's, that's also another thing that's made me feel fabulous when people have the gall to tell me I look nothing like my, my flyer where I think I actually look kind of nice. So, um, I've, been, <laughs> I've been dealing with that as well. <laughs> but for the most part, the people of Edinburgh have been fabulous. By the way, how, how many UK babies do we have? How many people from not America do we have here today? You guys, you, you, oh, okay, fabulous. Oh wait, do we only have two Americans in the audience? Oh, I don't know why I thought there were more over here too. Okay, fabulous, all right. We're always outnumbered by the people from the UK. But, um, and where else about, where are you babies from? Aberdeen, okay, fabulous. And where are you from back here? Oh. Yeah, oh, yes. Um, near, north of Scotland. Oh, north of Scotland. Yeah. Okay. Fabulous. And did I ask you where you're from? I forgot already. Wales. You're from Wales. Oh, lovely, lovely. Um, and from you, where are you from? Wales. Oh, we got the Wales babies. Okay. Who? I'm sorry. That was such a dumb American joke. That was so stupid. I just couldn't help it. I couldn't. I, I'm going. I'm going to leave now. Bye. No, I'm so sorry. Did anybody ever do that to you than a stupid American? No one ever does that to you before, right? Well, now it's happened, and you can treasure it forever. <laughs> Good, I got it out of, I, I don't know what happened to me. I blacked out for a moment. But, damn it. Um, but, okay, wonderful. Well, I have to, I just wanted to make sure, in case I insulted anybody in here, but I need to make sure I'm not gonna hurl insults at people uh, be, before I know where they're from. So, uh, that's why I, <laughs> But no, I, I've had such wonderful experiences. Um, but no Londoners, are there no Londoners in here? Okay, good, because I think they're the ones that have been mean to me. That's what I really wanted to make sure. <laughs> they're really mean, some of them, some of them, some of them, but I mean, I'm just saying that uh, they're the ones who are telling me I don't look like my poster for the most part. Stuck up. But it's okay. I don't mind. I mean, I do. What am I talking about? <laughs> I mind being told mean things, but like a whale, I let it just wash over me like the waves. Oh, I will pick myself up off the pavement, the dirty bin trash mill pavement, and dust myself off. Because what choice do I have? I've got just this one life to live And this one festival to give everything that I can I am just one woman Even though there are too many shows Maybe you won't even be able to afford a ticket. I mean, I'll just be so darn famous. But so come and see me or contact me on TikTok and I'll give you comes up. I'm just one woman putting on a hell of a show. But you'll get the word out to every single person you meet on the dirty trash will streets. Oh, those dirty trash will streets, but those still beautiful streets, trash or not.
you for being here. As we all know, as we all know today, there are so many shows in Edinburgh, too many shows in Edinburgh, a wealth of shows. But, so that's why it means so much that you've all chosen to spend your time with me today. And please, if you enjoyed the show, word of mouth is our best friend, really, TikTok be damned. Um, so, you know, please tell your lovers, tell your friends, tell your enemies, tell your families to come and see us. We only know we only have three more shows, three more shows to go. And um, they're going to be, you know, as fabulous uh, as this one. But everyone is different, so you can always come back again yourself and see us again. But um, also, if you go to the edfringe.com website where you per may or may not have purchased a ticket, you can leave an audience review as well. And um, raves only, please. Raves only. If you didn't like it, just put it to yourself in an email so you can get it out of your system. Because I don't want to see it. I don't want to know. But thank you again so much. Please give a huge round of applause for my beautiful baby, Julia. You can see her at Showstopper later this evening. What time is Showstopper, Jordan? 9.30 for Showstopper. Oh, and thank you so much to my beautiful baby, Linda. Carmichael, I always will be. Good night! Thank you!